there's this really cool poem that I enjoy, and it's in Arabic, and allow me to translate parts of it for you. So the poet, he says, النفسو, you know, you're inside, inside you. It hates the fact that you might not get everything you want, everything you desire, or that you experience poverty. Perhaps not having everything you want is better than having everything you want that allows you to transgress and feel that you have no limits. Whatever I want, I can have at any time. He goes on to say, You know, the true enrichment, the true joy, the greatest content you will have in life is to be able to appreciate whatever you have in life to its fullest. That in Abat, if you can't train yourself to be appreciative of the large and the small, then everything in this world, if it was given to you, you still are going to want more. Learn to find peace with all conditions inside yourself. You will feel like a king. Even if your kingdom is just that you have a good night's sleep and a good rest and a happy environment around you. What's the meaning of that poem? Well, it means to me a certain uh, number of things. And I hope it's something that you can kind of reflect on whether you're young or old. That what are the things that we value so much? They're usually things that other people we assume value. So you want to have something not just because it's going to give you joy, but you want to be able to kind of show other people that you have it. So you're trying to live your life through other people's eyes. So if I got these pair of sneakers or I got these new Jordan ones, by the way, I love Jordans. I got a few myself. I'm not saying don't have the nice things in life. You got to have nice things in life because that makes you happy as well. But that isn't the secret to happiness. Meaning that if I don't have it or if something happens to them or I misplace them or lose them or I couldn't afford it at a certain period of time, it doesn't mean that I can't find joy in other things. Why? Because I'm not looking at it through other people's eyes who I want to observe me and to judge me as being a little bit higher just because I got that thing. And that comes back to the ego and how we kind of view things in the world. We're going to talk about the ego and its place in making us susceptible or likely to fall into errors and sins. Ego is that inside feeling that you have where you may feel jealousy. You may feel pride. How dare they say that about me? You may feel levels of anger levels of hostility, where you may feel that other people are judging you or other people are, you know, looking at you uh, in a way that you don't feel is right. All of those are things that relate to your ego and how you value yourself. And the value you put on yourself, one of the best things that you can do is to strip away as much of it from where you believe other people value you from. And in fact, you will see a lot of social media, for example, Instagram now, you'll notice that they took off the likes. Before, when somebody liked your photo, it'll say how many likes and people were doing crazy things to get more and more likes, which really wasn't good for their health, really wasn't good for their mental health and their ability to judge right and wrong. So Instagram and Facebook, they took that away because they knew it's self-destructive. Why? It's making you feel happy, not because of what you're doing, but what you experience from other people. And the greatest joy that you will have is being able to enjoy from the inside out. And that's what Islam says. Islam wants us to connect to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that in whatever condition we are, we have rida with Allah. In the next session, I'm going to speak to you about being content with Allah, content with Islam, and content with our Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as our messenger.